Hey everyone, Scoriox here. I'm going to do a really quick video today just showing you how to buy SILV with Ethereum. Okay, it's going to be relatively simple, going to keep it straightforward. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you like what you're watching. I'm going to do an awesome RevDiz video soon. I'm working, I've been working on it for the past few weeks. Um, it's going to be lay everything out really simply. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. Um, so let's get into it. First, I'm on the Discord here. Now, to make sure... This is going to be a bit about making sure you don't get scammed and you can do this process for most tokens but you're going to make sure you're getting the contract address from the right location as often as possible now, there's a few places to get this but often i like to use the discord and when in doubt always double check with someone ask someone what the correct contract address is if they dm you and send you to send it to you ignore it it's a scam 99 percent of the time all right don't trust dms Ask in a public chat. If they give it to you and everyone says it's that's the one, that's what they're looking at, then that's all good. In this case, I'm going to show you exactly how I might do it. You're just going to go into the Discord. This is the Illuvium Discord and the token channel, because SILV is a token. You're going to jump on the pinned messages. And I'll put all these links down in the description, of course. So I'm just scrolling down until I find the contract address. Now it'll look like this. It'll usually have a zero X at the start, but maybe not always. Um, and then it'll be a string of like 20 digits. I don't know, a lot, a lot of digits. You can't miss it. Um, so you just want to make sure you copy that. Now what you want to avoid doing is you want to avoid getting any extra bits like this S here, or like, you see how there's this little extra space? Just, I'll check that in a second. You want to go over it and control C to copy on Mac, command C. Okay, so I'll just go over to Google. Now, um, a lot of people like to bookmark their different decentralized exchanges. That's the only place you can get SILV at the moment um, because of its nature, um, it being an escrowed ILV token and not kind of something that an exchange might list. Um, that's also partly because of the burn mechanic. That's often hard for exchanges to set up properly and really get going. Um, that's why a lot of the meme coin, coins and things that have their burn mechanics start off on things like um, pancake swap and things like that. So we're just going to look up Uniswap. Now Uniswap.org looks all right. Um, an easy way to check for scams is they'll almost always have a spelling error in some way. I've seen sushi swap spelt like this with a UAP. Um, I put that in. It might be an address, maybe not. This one is uniswap.org. And again, I'll put that all in the description. All right, so it's a uniswap protocol. The site looks pretty legit, but you shouldn't really be basing any judgment off something like that. Um, take that sort of stuff with a grain of salt. Um, all right, after we've launched uniswap, we just want to go and launch the app. And here it is here. DEXs normally look like this. They're very simple. Again, we want to double check the URL, app.uniswap.org slash hash slash swap. That's correct. Um, if you want to double check, don't be afraid to do your own research. So if I type in Uniswap correct URL, Uniswap fake URL down. So you can even Google the URL you're using and things like that. But this one looks pretty accurate. Okay. Uh, my address is already connected, but maybe I can disconnect it. So when you go to connect the address, the button will be up there. It'll usually say connect. You just click your MetaMask. And now my thing is in. I only have 0.4 ETH at the moment. Don't even ask me why I have so little. I'm trying to build it up, but it's a long story. Um, but I am going to buy some SILV today, getting ready for the land sale. I want at least one tier one land. So I'm going to go for about 5K worth of SILV. That's a lot less than Ethereum. All right. So now... This is the part you gotta be really careful of. So I'm gonna go select token. If I type in SILV, um, I added it before, but normally that won't be there. It'll only appear with all of these ones, all right? So what you wanna do when it doesn't appear is you go to manage token lists, tokens, and then you wanna enter the address. Normally I've already added it. Oh, if I clear it, there we go. I'll add this address. This is the one I copied before. Control V to paste, Command V on a Mac, and you just click import. Okay, token doesn't appear, that's fine. Just make sure you've got the address right. So I'll go back. 
So if I paste the address, okay, and I make sure that there's no spaces on the right. So I try to go to the right, there's nothing there. That's an easy, that's an easy mistake you can make. It's really hard to tell. Make sure there's no spaces on the left. Just to double check, make sure you're checking the address, all right? Import tokens, and there you go. SILV. I actually own a little bit already, but it's not really. Yeah. So I want to spend maybe 0.3 Ethereum. I'm going to need some for gas later on um, for something else. That's about 3.6 SILV. Okay. Um, it currently doesn't say the gas anywhere. I guess that's in percentage. Um, transaction deadline, you can normally leave that the same. Slippage tolerance <sighs> depends on the sort of token you're swapping. Um, if you're having trouble swapping something, I would go up to about 2% um, for something with lots and lots of liquidity. Keep it at 0.5, your bigger coins, uh, top 200, 300 maybe. Um, something like this, where I'm really not sure, I might actually just bump it up to 1%. Um, but you can keep it at 0.5, it should be fine. But I like to be extra careful because I'm impatient, <laughs> to put it simply. Okay, I don't know what... Expert mode is definitely going to look into that. High price impact. Hmm. Definitely don't use that. That sounds dangerous. Okay. So I'm just going to swap that. Transaction details. Confirm swap. It'll just pop up in the MetaMask. 115 for gas. Actually pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So definitely. And transaction submitted. So the other thing you can do is you can click add SILV to MetaMask. I already have, but um, if MetaMask isn't already in your assets tab right here, so you click on MetaMask and in the assets tab, if SILV isn't there, you're going to need to add it with this import button. And it's just the same address you used before. But in this case, if you trade for it, you can just click add SILV and it adds it to it how it is now. It's all there. Add token. Boom. Um, so I'm also going to view it on the Explorer. I know this can look really overwhelming. Sometimes you got to keep refreshing it, but this will take a while to go through. From personal experience, whenever you're in doubt with if your transaction is or isn't going through and you're not sure what's going on, I like to wait 24 hours and then check again. Because the crypto space is quite young, to be honest, and sometimes you've got to be patient. I know it's hard. A lot of people's money is at risk, but it's just, it's all you can do. I have had things that I've been stressed about for a whole day and they, they everything was resolved within 24 hours. So definitely, yeah, don't, um, you can ask mods and things in the Discord, of course, they'll be able to help you. But the general rule of thumb, personally, 24 hours, definitely. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, that's how you do it. I used Uniswap because there's not enough liquidity on SushiSwap. Doesn't work. You're going to have to use Uniswap. I'm sorry for all the SushiSwap fans, but for in this case, it's Uniswap. It's confusing because for ILV, 99% of the time, it's SushiSwap you use. So it's a bit confusing. But for SILV, Uniswap. Again, everything in the description. Please like and subscribe. I love all the support. I'm nearly at 200 subs. Um, thanks to everyone so much for that. And have a good day.